Hi, John Fagan with Superior Realty Partners. Welcome back to another edition of our video blog. Today we're gonna to talk about things to avoid when preparing your home for sale. Hi, welcome back. Before we get started on today's topic, I wanna to point out two things here on the site. One is if you're looking for a home to purchase, click on the box to the left here and you can search all homes for sale. Second, if you're interested in your home's value, enter your address in the box below that and get an idea of what your home is worth in today's market. Now today's topic, we're gonna to talk about things to avoid when upgrading and preparing your home for sale. You know, we talk a lot about things to do to do when you're preparing your home for sale. So we're gonna go the opposite way today, things to avoid. First thing that stands out is wallpaper. Obviously, it's, we, a lot of people think of that something as the past. And unless your home is a custom home or you have a custom designer designing the home and um, let's avoid wallpaper as it can obviously be very something specific to your taste and what we want to do when we're preparing home for sale is appeal to the masses of buyers. So we're going to stick to things that are neutral. Um, that takes us to number two with paint. We don't want any bold colors. Again, we want to keep things neutral. Stay away from bold reds, greens, blues um, when you're specifically preparing a home for sale. Um, also, a lot of things, times we replace light fixtures. You know, you want to update them, especially on older homes. Again, we don't want to go to lavish light fixtures that are expensive, that you're not going to get your return on those. So stick to something that's simple and it's gonna to appeal to more people. Um, one thing that might not stand out as much is carpet. A lot of times we're replacing carpet just because it's old or worn out and we automatically think to, let's just replace it with what we had. Whereas maybe for very little money or the same cost, we could upgrade the carpet or we could possibly move into a different type of material, maybe a high-end laminate, maybe an entry-level engineered hardwood that might appeal to more people. So do a little research when you're replacing flooring and don't automatically assume you should just replace carpet with carpet as there might be some other options there, depending on the room that it's going in, of course. And then we don't wanna overspend on landscaping. You know, we definitely want to do some things out front to increase curb appeal. That's the first thing buyers see when they come up to your house, but we don't wanna overspend on landscaping. Um, we don't wanna go in the backyard and add a pergola, add flower beds and overspend because we want it to look nice, but we don't wanna overspend to where we're not gonna get that money back especially when we're specifically doing things to prepare it for sale. So if you have any specific questions about your property, if you're thinking about selling here in the spring and summer markets as we get closer, give us a call. We'd love to help you out, take a look and suggest things to do and things to stay away from for your property. And as always, if you have a topic you'd like to see us cover, let us know that as well. We love covering things that you're interested in. And thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.